Stephen A., Mike Tyson once upon a time said about Jesse Ferguson, who he knocked out when he, with an uppercut. Remember that in the corner, right hook to the body, right uppercut to the head. What were you trying to do? I was trying to push his nose bone into his brain. Ugh. Roberto Duran, greatest lightweight champion ever, title defense against Ray Lampkin, knocked him out, and I think it was the seventh round. Afterward, was told, hey, you know, they had to rush Lampkin to the hospital. He said, that was nothing. If I was in shape, they would have brought him to the morgue. Oh. This is the way, like, and by the way, Roberto Duran and Mike Tyson were some of the most popular sort of mean guys in boxing history, right? The guys you were like, oh, my God, that guy's a savage. And they were more popular partially as a result. No, of course, Deontay Wilder shouldn't be punished for it. This is, uh, this is par for the course in the fight game. I do think it's reasonable for someone to say, hey, you know what? I find that distasteful. I don't think we as a civilized place should be um, um, encouraging that kind of behavior or that kind of talk. But clearly, there should be no punishment for it. Well, first of all, let's remember something. Let's not forget uh, Mike Tyson talking about eating people's children. Let's not forget that one either, okay? That, that, that's what he said. Uh, so, you know, Tyson is a good example to use. Uh, but the bottom line is this. To me, the real story here is not what Deontay Wilder said, because, of course, he shouldn't be punished for it. Of course, what he said was the absolute truth. And, of course, within our society, particularly in this day and age, we should, we should rebuke such verbiage, and we should make sure that we dissuade people from engaging in that kind of rhetoric. But what really, really irritated me uh, was the WBC saying, you know, it's going to be an investigation. What the hell is the investigation about? He came on national television, on this show, on this show, first take, and then again on my radio show, and stated what he said. There's no investigation. What are you talking about? You can rebuke what he said, but no re investigation is required. Stop wasting people's time with that nonsense. The last time I checked, Deontay Wilder did not utter a single word about doing anything illegally. He pointed out how in the sport of boxing, you know, you have an, op you have an opportunity and a right Oh, by the way, and an obligation to punch people into oblivion until a referee says time right. or until time expires. That's what he's talking about here. Right. And so as a result, and this is the, this is the hypocrisy uh, and the idiocy uh, uh, of Mr. Suleiman, because let me get this straight. And I said this to you on first take, Max, rhetorically. What if Deontay Wilder went in the ring and danced around the ring without throwing punches? He'd probably have his purse withheld, all right? And there'd be an investigation for that. So the bottom line is, it's your job, literally your obligation, to go into the boxing ring and try to take somebody's head off. That's the and, point, Stephen A. And, 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 and in a preferential world, your bottom line is, we'd prefer to see a knockout than a decision. So well, for also, them to literally hold them accountable for it is not, it's just idiotic and stupid. Also a de and a I think decision. it's a question for them to get publicity. If it goes up to the cards, it's subjective. It's <clears throat> up to the judges. And, in fact, the rules in boxing incentivize knockouts. You know, you are, you, are, you are credited with points for effective aggression, right? Because we want to see fights. The point in football is not to concuss your opponent. That's the point in boxing. Concussion protocol and there's all these health issues with brain damage and different things. And in the whole sports world, you get a concussion, everyone's freaking out. In boxing, people are paying, literally, to see if Deontay Wilder can concuss his opponent now you may say yes but that's very different than a mortal injury and and Deontay Wilder even if he if that occurred within the rules he has not committed any kind of crime although you would hope he would feel remorse Ray boom, at the boom, very Mancini sure at the Ray very boom boom Mancini Duku Kim at, at, that's we, right you would hope that he shows remorse at the very least but the point of and, and furthermore Stephen A if Deontay Wilder's basically saying as much, he's like, look, I put my life in the line when I'm going in the ring. And the way I read between the lines, he's saying, I can say whatever I want to get myself hyped up, to get myself motivated. That's not a crime to say something. Then we're going to get in the ring and see what's what. I doubt very seriously whether literally Deontay Wilder wants really to end anyone's life in the ring. I've dealt with Deontay. He, is, he keeps it, as so the kids say, 100 but this is a fighter would, going into a prize fight. You cannot take what they say literally. They are going, in, in a literal sense, to a war of sorts, to a battle of sorts, and they have to have mm -hmm. a gladiator's mentality. The, the bottom line is this. Well, first of all, Deontay Wilder told me he's going to try to take this boy out inside of three rounds. That's number one. Number two, uh, 
a lot of people are hoping he does it. Um, I'm quite sure you'd rather see a knockout than a decision. I damn sure know I would. And so let's be clear about that as well. And, and, and the other point that needs to be made again is what you just reiterated. Deontay Wilder is a family guy. Deontay Wilder ain't trying to kill somebody. That's not his intent, but he is trying to go in there and uh, knock you senseless. He's unapologetic about that. If he were talking about breaking rules and hitting you after the bell sounded, hitting you when the referee told him to stop or anything like that, I can understand that. But him talking about what he wants to do within the rules, once upon a time, that generated ratings. A matter of oh, fact, still does. it still does. Stephen A., Let's real quick. stop the nonsense. Real quick, as you know, if you're talking about a puncher and you're training, are you training to hit the target or punch through the target? Your intention punch is through. to punch through the target, knowing through. that your fist literally can't go through the target, but that is your intention. You cannot hold that against the fighter. This is what they're trained to do. It is distasteful, but not illegal. This, this ain't two fighters that showed up on the show Billions on Showtime a couple of weeks ago, literally hugging one another and were exhausted after 30 seconds. No, this is real boxing. And usually when you go step into the ring, your goal is not to go the distance. It's to take people out. That's what makes you a box office attraction. If Deontay Wilder had not knocked out 39 of his 41 opponents, guess what? We wouldn't be talking about his fight coming up this weekend at the Barclays Center. We'd be finding something else to talk about. He's a knockout artist. Anthony Joshua is no joke either, and that's why we want to see them Nor, because we both know they have the power to take people out. Right. Nor is Tyson Fury, who got hit with that Deontay Wilder shot and got up off the deck in the 12th round.